Oh, hello. Ah, all right, cough chops. Um, could you direct me to the nearest tavern, sir? I appear to be very lost. Nearest what? Tavern, pub, public house. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a tavern here. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very dry town. You're a funny guy. No tavern. Who ever heard of anything so strange? I do believe there's a tavern on the other side of the island, however. Then, if that's true, then why on earth would you be living on this side of the island? I don't know. Mm. Uh, because we established the town before the tavern was put in. Oh. Well, that makes sense. Hmm. So, uh, uh, it's nice to see people of regular heights. You know, everywhere I go, people are beastly. Hmm. Where's the filch? Yes, I uh, agree. So uh, we're average height. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we are. We're average height, and everyone else is monstrous. Everyone is so tall. Yes, must be. Um, it's very weird, isn't it? Must be some. Oh. Hello, sir. What's oh. your name? My name's Elias. Oh. He's the uh, play employee of the math at the Bagad Oddities Museum. Was he one of the exhibits? No, that's not very kind. No, he is not. But he is the first person that you'll meet at Bogart Office Museum. He is the front desk worker and he is our employee of the month. Employee of the month? My, my. Well, sir, it's. Uh, well, I would say it's a pleasure to meet you, but I'll be a lying bastard. That's not my way. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, yeah. Very impressive, sir. Very impressive indeed. Tell me. How many employees are there? Uh, besides me and Bagatha, uh, just Elias. Uh, just Elias. Wow, a new made employee of the month. You even beat these two, and these are like very intelligent individuals of normal stature. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. Thank you. I had to overcome a lot of obstacles to get here today. Uh. Oh, what kind of obstacles? Well, I'm kind of freakishly tall and heavily muscled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose so, yeah. Obstacles being doorways. Huh? Some of them are kind of small. Hey, you never know. Uh. I ain't never seen small doorways. They're all of normal heights. Standard. But that's... Well, that, is... that one over there on the barn's pretty big. Yeah, that's right. And there's one up on the mountain up there that's pretty small. Uh, that's, but that's to get the chickens in. It's still a small door, though. True. It's not yes, big. yes, it's, it's smaller than... I, I couldn't even get into that one. Tell me, this mountain here, do you have a man on top of this mountain, perhaps? Man? There could be. I haven't been all the way to the top. I hmm. La lie I found... or bury it or something. Buried? No, he struggles to bury it in rock. But, you know, there's a lot of strange things that have been happening. I saw a man on a mountain, and Every, every time I go there, he's just standing there. Never moves. They ever say anything? Never says a thing, no. Uh -uh. Is, he one of the, is he one of the clockworks? The clockworks are all over the place now. We saw one in the middle of the woods one time. What do the clockworks? What do you mean, clockworks? Works. I have to go get one. They're easier to show you. Just a moment. I'll be right back with one.
what was that? Mm, just some medicine. All right, I'll take it. Oh, God, it's roasting it. I'm burning up, you know. We have something for you. Uh, in case you need to uh, give yourself an injection there. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, eat the, don't, yeah. Yeah, don't eat the bandage, they don't need it, just apply it. Uh, what is it? Rectal, is it? Mm. No, it's more of a drink, I think. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Made that mistake once before. Uh, maybe I should bring my ship around. This fellow here tells me you've got a museum of, a museum of oddities. I myself have quite a collection on my ship. Oh, yes, we do have a museum of oddities. We're not looking for oddities at the moment, but we'd be glad to see what you have. Yeah, all right, then, sure, sure thing. Mm. And you don't have any alcohol here? Yeah? No, unfortunately not. We just received a bottle of wine from someone earlier today, but they're on the other side of the island. They're on the larger island on the far northern side. Yeah, that's Wait where the tavern's minute. at. Where, 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 where's this clockwork he was talking about? Yes, I'll show you. Uh, oh, uh, uh. That's Elias. <laughs> Alright, the clockwork is just behind you. Don't let it frighten you. Uh. What the hell is that? You ever seen a clockwork? A clockwork? It hmm. has a little winder in the back that winds it up, and then it's able to make some movement. Don't be frightened by the movements of it. Nah, what the hell? Yes. Yes, it moves. Sometimes it makes noises. They try to tell us that the noises are the squeaking hinges on the inside, but we don't believe that. We think that it's making noises all on its own. No, there's some. There's a man trapped in there. There must be. We've wondered that as well. It grows a little tiny patch of human hair across the back of the head. If you want to take a look at the back of the head. No, I don't think I do. I don't want it. It creeps me out. I don't want to go anywhere near that thing. Where the hell did you find it? I think oh. they arrived. We placed an order for mannequins for the museum, and we did not realize they had a feature where you could wind them and that they could move. So it's some sort of clockwork figure. We think that these are what's standing in the woods as well around the areas. Yeah, but the one I saw... He looks more real than this. Yes, we think, we think they've been painted to look like humans. They, they take the regular clockwork form and they, they paint it to look more human so that it's oh, more... Wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean they? I don't know who they are, but it's just we've seen them. I, I don't know if you've been to the Freeport south of here. There's an island north of that Freeport. And there's a man standing in the middle of the woods, with fully clothed, painted to look like a person, but does not speak, does not move, does not leave the area. Sounds like an armet on Haven Rock. Oh, where is that located? Oh, God, I can't remember. Uh, oh, maybe one of the D squares. It, all I remember was it's a very small world and it's right in the middle of the square. On the map, yeah. Uh, can't remember. Right. Haven Rock. Haven Rock. We'll look for a small island in the middle of a square, somewhere around the Ds. Maybe, maybe we can find it. 
But yes, we we did discover one south of here in the Freeport grid, the North Island in that grid. There's a man standing in the middle of the woods that looks like a man. You would think it was Hurston, but when you get closer, he does not move. He does not talk. He does not ever leave. And you think he's like this underneath? This, this... I have my suspicions. I think someone's abandoning clockworks in the woods. I think they may have... They may, they may have developed more than they thought they would with the clockworks, and now they're trying to abandon them in the middle of the woods. Maybe it's worse. Maybe they've escaped. Oh, oh, maybe. Uh, oh. Sometimes they make very rapid movements. Kill it or something. Get rid of it. It's, it's, it's not normal. It's... it's, it's, it's twisted. I don't like it. If you stand here and you look, you look through the front of your eyes very closely, you can see his eyes staring at you, but the closer you get, you can eventually see the eyes roll back into mm. the head of the clockwork. <gasps> That's another thing they do. They steal your clothing. Have they stolen your clothing? You're missing yours as well. No, uh, it, it, it took me not mine off and brought it out nice and tight. And oh. hey, it's too hot around here. Yeah, it is. It's very hot. But yes, if you look at look deep into the eyes, and as you move closer, you notice the eyes roll up into the head. We're not sure why they were designed that way, though. I don't think it's designed. I think someone's been cursed. I think someone's trapped in there. That could be. We've... Well, we do have one which we can open the head on. And when we look down inside the clock, through the top of the head, you can see a set of eyes in there. And you can see a row or two of human teeth inside the clockwork. Why would it need human teeth on the inside? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's moving again. They don't always move when you're not looking at them, but sometimes they do. You turn your back for a moment, and then you turn back around. There may be a new position. And we found that of all of the positions we can set a clockwork on, sometimes they come up with a whole new position that's not part of the array of positions that we can set them on. We don't know where they're getting this information for a whole different new position that's not part of their, not part of their settings. You mean they're thinking for themselves? It's almost like they are. You tell them, I want you to move into this position with a little lever on the back beside the winder. And instead of moving into that position, sometimes move into a position you haven't seen before. No, uh, it's unnatural. I don't think I could sleep on an island that has something like that on it. That's, oh, no. oh, God. They are thinking for themselves now. It's just, I don't know. We, we're still in debate on what exactly this is. But it's not what we ordered. We simply ordered stationary mannequins that we could put clothing on and make them look like they were part of a display, but we got something altogether different with these clockworks. I think that one slipped through the net, you know. I reckon that someone who works at the mannequin factory is a magician, a wizard, and he's conjuring people into these things. You know, that could be it. We've been wondering. I met a wizard, you know. A real wizard. You did a wizard? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild guy now. He was at the, um, Freeport. Yeah, yeah. Very strange uh, fella. What did I... What, did, did it show you any sort of magic at all? Well, uh, sort of, yeah, it did, actually. He asked me for some, uh, he asked if he, if he could buy some pieces of wood. And I said, well, you know, you could have it. It's on my ship. You can oh, whatever you need, you can have it. I'm not going to sell you bits of wood. There's trees everywhere. So I gave him the bits of wood, and poof, he made a little ship just appear before my very eyes. And then 
Maybe it was to keep me quiet. It gave me a winged suit. A winged suit? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that sounds frightening. Suit made out of wings. Yeah, and I took it to the top of the highest mountain I could find. And I wore it and I could fly like a bird. I don't know why I'd... I, th I thought it was a suit made out of birds. But you're talking about a suit that is a bird almost. Yeah, it gave me wings. And then uh, it was very scary though. In fact, I crapped me. Didn't land on anybody, but I could see why they do it now. It's fucking frightening up there. Yeah, it is. Terrifying. No, it's not for me. These clockworks are barely for me as well. If we hadn't ordered so many, they keep coming in. I, d I don't know. We, we had spent so long expecting them and they just weren't showing up. We were afraid there was a whole ocean out there just filled with bobbing clockworks. Yeah, especially around the shimmer on a foggy evening. The way they arrived, no one even delivered them. They were just here all of a sudden. I'm wondering if someone winds them and tells them which direction to go in and just lets them go. Maybe that's how they're getting unwound in the woods. They need they need a winding so they can continue on their journey to where they head. <gasps> no, not again. The fast movements. I don't like them. Now it's drinking something. Or it's blowing some sort of horn. I'm not sure. Maybe it's trying to communicate. Maybe there's more clockworks around here that you can't know about. Is it a, yeah, there's different kinds. I don't know. It's We're going to keep our eyes open for more of these clockworks in the woods and places. I think you should make a raft or a boat or something and put that on and send it off. Just let it go. Go. Just let it send it to the edge of the world so it falls off. We just, yes. We're afraid they're gonna back up, though. Mm, I wouldn't wish one of them were my worst enemy. We've had people leave with them, and we told them you're not allowed to bring them back here. Once you leave with them, they have to go, and they're not allowed to return. What about the people, though? Do they return? Not yet. We're still waiting to see. Oh, God. So they may be killing him. There's a chance it could be. <sighs> this is some kind of sorcery. Yes, you would think it would lose balance and tilt backwards, but it doesn't. Somehow it's able to maintain its itself, even though it's so out of balance, it looks like. Ah, uh, that's the one where the mouth opens all the way. So, so you don't want, um, you don't want to take more curiosities for your museum, perhaps? I don't know. We'll take a look at them. We've got a lot of curiosities that we, we don't even have room for at the moment ourselves. But we'd be glad to take a look at what you have and see. Oh right, yeah. Uh, I'll keep... I'll f uh. Right, I'll go and get the ship. But, right. um... It's not a stolen ship, so don't go telling anyone that it is, okay? Telling uh, anybody? I don't know anything. No. Right. right. Oh, we'll be back in a minute. I, well, I don't know how long I'm going to be because I'm lost. I've no oh. idea where I put the thing. Oh, no. All right. You want the clockwork to go with you? Uh, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'm going to put it away before before Elias gets troubled. Oh, yes. I think he sailed out just a second ago. He left. He left the whole port. He said, no, not if they're back. I'm leaving. Not coming back again. Did you see Edgar anywhere? I thought I saw someone make their way through town.
Mm, he's upstairs eating. Ah, huh, we were just looking for you. Oh. Hello, Peaches. Mm. Wanted to make sure you were all right. I saw someone go through town. I thought it was you. I, I think sense. that was Elias. He was really in a hurry. Oh. Uh, we had one of the clockworks out. I didn't, I didn't mean to frighten him, but I think he saw it when we had it out. We were I'm... just showing man. <laughs> yeah, he must have seen it. Oh, no. We have to go inside the barn or something. We'll start going in the animal barn and, and show the clockworks so he doesn't get disturbed. We, we shot a hole straight through one, and I know he doesn't like them. I shouldn't have had it out in the open. The man who was in the town's here. He said his name was Lester, I believe. He's gone to get his ship to show us some oddities that he has on board. He asked us if we were interested in them. And I said, well, we have a great many oddities. We don't have room for ourselves. But we'd be glad to take a look at them for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Another pig. They just keep coming. But... Oh, where did it... What in the world? What the... <laughs> Something strange is happening around here. Did you whistle the pig, Edgar? Hmm... Maybe? Oh, I don't know. I, did you see a pig or was it only me? No, I saw it as well. There's some strange stuff happening again. It's beginning again. You remember how the the fish just showed up in town all of a sudden and they were everywhere. Mm -hmm. There was just a pig here, standing on the docks. And the next thing I knew, it was gone. It just, I, I felt like I was looking right at it. And then I wasn't looking at anything anymore. That was the weirdest thing. Very troubling, but it is odd and odd for some reason. Odd is following us around. So, uh, did you see it under the docks or anything? No. Uh, yeah, it's just following us around. That's what happened here. When we don't go looking for the odd, the odd comes looking for us, Edgar. That's how it works. Mm hmm. We've been in town too long. The art is starting to come look for us now, Bucket. Yes. We need to get out of town for a little bit. It's... We do. We need to stretch our legs and get away for a little bit. We need to look for something odd so it'll quit looking for us. I'm tired of it. It worries me. I'm afraid something really weird will show up. Oh, do it. <laughs> oh no, there, there may be a hole in the dark. I think I figured out what happened to the pig. My goodness. Uh, uh, I'm pushing. I'm gonna get myself out of here. Uh, uh, ah, there we go. It's just a very small space between the boards, but I guess my legs are skinnier than I thought they were. I just slid right through. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's yeah. where Pig went. It's gone. That's all I know. It, it didn't have particularly tiny legs or anything. But I don't know where it was. <sighs> Add that to the list, but it's disappearing pigs. Disappearing pigs and disappearing Bogatha. Yes. No, I didn't disappear. I just fell through the hole. But you did have the fish on there as well, right? The fish from the ocean, land fish, whatever we want to call them. 
Yes. All right. Do you see a ship behind you, Boggart? I think it's headed this way. It could be the man who was here in the town. He said he was gone to look for his ship, but he wasn't sure where it was anymore. Ship didn't come this way. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Give the man a little more time. We did close the museum up and uh, wanted to get off the island a little bit. Yes, we did. Need to get out and about. And go look for the odd so the odd doesn't come looking for us. Yeah. Do we have to pass the shimmer then? Yes. Ooh. We just have to just have to be careful out there on the shimmers. Oh, there is a ship pulling now. A ship that may or may not have been stolen. Oh, that's true. He said it was not stolen, if anyone was to ask. Hmm. Oh, that's so interesting. Very tall. Yeah. Look at that. Mm, I shouldn't put my boots in there. Oh, you're fine. I saw the lid shift while you were standing there. It's trying to flip over mm. on you. Is it one of those ghost ships? Looks like one of the ships of the damned. Ship of the damned has entered Port Isle. Well, he pulled in and actually got an anchor point, which is... I think we've been ducking our ships incorrectly. Look at this. Yeah, pulling in in fashion now. It is a lot faster doing it that way. Yes, it is. Um, there. Uh, come aboard, if you like. We, we were afraid it was a ship of damned with all the glowing in it. It looks just like one of those horrendous ships out of the seas. Ah, oh, no, no, no. No, it's just a new lanterns I've got. Uh, this is my home, by the way. Oh, all right. It is a beautiful home. I love the look of it. If you would have to come into the office and I'll dig out Mark. Okay, sure. But where are you? I'm here. Good. Come aboard, Edgar. Let's look at the curie halls of it. What's in here? Something yeah. to happen. Well, 
was wrong. Uh, this, is this a clockwork? It appears that the legs are down under the ducks. Um, I can't see anything. Maybe you've been hanging around these clockworks too long. It's playing with your mind. Yeah, I guess so. There's something there, though. Yeah, I found this thing. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Yeah, I don't know why, but it does bring back fond memories for me, and I tried it on other people. It doesn't seem to work. The younger they are, the least it works. Takes me back to a time when I was a very young girl. I'm very old, you see. I'm nearing a hundred. Uh. But for me, this takes me back to a time when I was very young, and I was holding on to Boggart's ankles, and he was trying to escape our home. Oh, why was you trying to escape the home? Uh, we were, we were <laughs> being born at the time. Oh, wow. It took you back that far. It took me all the way back. And I was holding to Boggart, saying, Don't leave our home, it's warm here. And he was trying to get out to the doorway. Yes. Mm. Did worry. you ever go back there? No. Uh, once out, you never go back. Oh, well, yeah. Um, let me have a look around and see what other curiosities I may have. Wait, wait a minute, let me see me, me pockets first. Can you see the person, Barker, that's in the room with us? Do you see the person, Edgar? That's a yeah. like, This is mm. a weird thing. That sword... I, I got told it's a disappearing sword, and at some point it's just gonna go poof. What in the world? Yeah, six hours from now, that sword will be no more. Are you supposed to fight with it or something? What if it goes away while you're no. in the I think it's an assassin's sword. What you do is you find someone and then you stab them to death with it, and then. And you'll hear the seed, and then there's no murder weapon. That is very unusual. You can take a look at them too, Edgar, if you like. There's some unusual things there. Um, let me just have a look around, see what else I have. Feel free to, um... Uh, explore. Uh, my ship is your ship. Today, you do what you like. Alright, thank you very much. Um, would you like some food? Or drinks? I think I'm okay at the moment, I just ate. Right, yeah. I'm uh, fine, I'm thank you. Fine. Is there anything you need us at all? I do see you. You do? Mm -hmm. right. That makes two of us. The others, they can't see him. It's a clockwork. Mm hmm. Yeah, now we're beside each other. But good. You're in a bad position. Yes, it's me and the clockwork here beside each other. Edgar can see it and I can see it. But you can't see it. It's between us now. Just crouching like this. No! No, that's... Now you're kissing him. Oh. It's very haunted. Haunted ship. Come aboard my ship, I want to show you something unusual. I didn't know it was some sort of haunted clockwork that we were coming. Mm. Now, maybe you've seen a lot of unusual things, and maybe you know what to make of this. I personally think this is an artifact from a secret cult. What? A 
I've never seen a symbol like that before in my life. No, oh, that's very unusual. I have a ring that looks very similar to that as well that was found in the ocean. Wow. Oh, wait a minute, I've got some more. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Ugh. Very unusual. It looks different when I look at it, and then when I pick it up, it looks completely different again. Alright, now, all of that is just a regular, I think. That's, you know, a bit weird, but it's sort of weirdly regular. Now, this next thing I've found is unlike anything I've ever seen before. And I am a very intelligent person, and I could not understand any of this. Mm, all right. <laughs> I think it's from the future. It looks like some sort of formula or something, but there's nothing there to use to, to decipher what they're trying to say. Hmm. Some very advanced sort of formula. Hmm. Maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe it's clockwork mathematics. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It could be. Where's this clockwork in here with us is listening to everything you're saying, though? Edgar and I can see it, even if you can't. So sometimes people can see the clockworks, and sometimes people can't see them, evidently. No, 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 no. You're messing. You're trying to scare me with your haunted tales. Now, I believe the clockworks, yeah? I believe you've got a clockwork on your thing, but don't try and make more ship out to be haunted, alright? No, oh, no, I'm not. Ugh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. Let me have a look downstairs, see if we've got any more trinkets. Right, right. I'll leave you to it, sir. And don't follow us home. You stay here, where you live. And you don't follow us. We acknowledge you, and you stay here. I think the captain has a drinking problem. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Now you keep it near, Will. Uh-huh. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, you're looking at the steering wheel. That's a new design, you know. I invented that. I Ooh. think it's going to catch on. Put the steering wheel at the front and the right-hand side. Now, if it was on the left side, I don't think that I could handle this. I'd be driving down the wrong, the wrong way. I'd, I'd end up docking backwards if I had it on the other side, I reckon. No, yeah, it's perfect. Now, yeah, that's a good location for it. No, we uh, we did notice uh, uh, how you parked the ship. Uh, pulling in was a little more uh, easier than yeah. backing in. Oh yeah, well you see, it's force of habit that. Normally, I'm not at the steering wheel. This fella behind who's sweeping up. I don't know if you could anchor that. Is that what was inside of the... Oh no, the ship's showing up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Normally I have this fellow at the wheel, and I'll stand on the front, and I'll jump off at the last minute. Right. Mm. Uh, yeah, let's see, what else? I don't know, I don't think I've got any more trinkets from downstairs, I think that's it. Now, I kind of oversold it, didn't I? I thought I had a lot of weird things, but I was very drunk when I found them, or maybe they disappeared, I don't know. You do see a lot of strange things on the oceans. There's a lot of unusual detritus washing up. We think there's some sort of hooligans throwing crates filled with unusual objects in the ocean. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. What about um, this map then? You ever seen anything like this before? I found it with this bag, but I can't open it. Unusual. There's some sort of... Some sort of bag with straps. Oh, so you can anchor there, but I can't... Okay. And the... The scribbles. I, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like a paper that someone's tried to draw something on, but I can't make heads or tails of what they were trying to draw, though. Looks like a map to me, but I can't figure out where it is. I've searched and searched, and none of the islands or anything like that. Mm, it could be a map at Is this a fairy? Hello? Oh, it's Babin. Is uh, that you, mm. Mr. C? Hello? Hello! Is it Owen around? Uh, he's gone to a funeral. He's what? He's gone to a funeral? Did you... Yes. Did you hear about Tiny who runs the, the zoo? We did, it's the off news. Yeah, I was trying to ask when the funeral was, but no one could have told me. Uh, it's at 10.30, so, uh, uh, over by the zoo, I think. Yeah, it's at 10.30 of the Eastern Stars, I believe Mr. Owen said. And it's at the Royal Society in Sector B3, Nalia Coast on the western side. Look, I'll, I'll be uh, myself with you. Um, uh, numbers, my eyes across. Uh, what is that, in like an hour and a 20 minutes? Yes. Nailed it. First try. I'm awesome. I you got it. Okay. Well, that's a cool. Um, yeah, we'll go. Uh, if you want to go, well, it's a freaking late, but we, we'll, yeah. I'll go. It's pretty late. You're not required uh, to go. You don't have to leave here. No, no, but no, uh, no. I, we, we, we were like a patrons of the zoo and stuff. You know, uh, I don't know if you saw our, our names on the signs, but yeah. You know, we we haven't made it to the zoo. We thought there was time. We didn't know. The unfortunate would happen at the zoo. Uh, but there's still time. <laughs> uh, the Royal Society's gonna take over. Yeah, they said the <laughs> Royal Society was taking over the zoo, so the zoo will continue onward and the tigers, I'm assuming. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's awful, I know. Mr. Owen said it was not his tigers, that it was some other tigers. Oh, really? Yeah, Mr. Owen donated tigers to the museum, uh, not to the museum, to the zoo, and he said, but it wasn't my tigers that devoured. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we, we have a, a couple of a pins named after us. H have you seen um, the, uh, the the lemur pin? No, I haven't. We haven't. Yeah, that, 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 that's the one that uh, Quinoa has, uh, uh, what's it called, paid for or whatever. Um, mine, mine is the lynx pin. It, they look like a cast, but they're not. Ooh. All right. Yeah, we yeah. haven't seen well, any we, of this. We didn't mean to, like, interrupt your business and stuff. We were just looking for Owen. Oh, no. We're just looking. We're, we're investigating oddities. Yeah, we found a uh, clockwork okay, cool. on, his, on his ship. <gasps> There's a clockwork. You gotta heed the warnings. Some people can see it, and some people can't see the clockwork, though. Me and Edgar can see it, but Bargert... And and our friend here, they're, they're not able to see the clockwork. It's unusual. No, 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 no. There ain't no clockwork on the. No, no, no. You've been um. Your mind's been addled. Uh, uh, this clockwork's have been. This clockwork you hanging around with. It's been twiddling with your mind. Maybe you're turning into one of them or something. <laughs> Now, there's no cop works on here, sir. I can assure you of that. Okay. Yeah, I believe you. I, I don't have no clock works neither. Oh, oh, I... No. Not even one you... behind you. Do you see any, any around? <gasps> With the boss? 
Oh, yeah. Well, that's how it starts. They show up like that when you start talking about them. Nope, gone. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, there you go. Yeah. Problem solved. I think we'll find them. <laughs> uh, was that someone's a clockwork? Because, uh... I don't see it uh, That was my bad. I don't see it anymore. I, I think it's fun. Yeah, luckily it didn't I go think it into turned sideways house. and slipped through. Could have. I, I know that Elias shot a hole through one that didn't do too much damage to it. <gasps> you you think that's a how they're coming to go? They like a turn sideways? Oh. Is that why I would see them? Maybe they're really thin and we just see them from the front and the back. Oh, that'd but be when creepier. You see them from the side. Yeah. yeah they, they can come through the uh, smallest of cracks. Oh. We had a pig. We had a pig in the towns and it disappeared today. It just disappeared from in front of my eyes. Yeah. It happens, evidently. Oh, wait a minute. That happened to me today with two horses. I approached them and they disappeared. What in the world? Huh. I was I mean, telling Bob. got to eat. Telling Bogart today that if we don't go looking for the oddities, they come looking for us. The strange and unusual finds us if we stay in the port for too long at a time. Yeah, well, I'll be sleeping with my door firmly locked from now on. I would recommend that just in case you never know when they're gonna show up. Oh, uh, yeah, make it worse. <laughs> they don't always move when you when you're not looking at them. Not always. Yeah, they just creep up on you, slipping under the door with the one centimeter thin bodies while you're sleeping. Slender and then, then unroll and they're looking straight at you. Width-wise now, where you can see them. There's a lot I'm gonna go check the shop. Alright. That's Mr. C, he has a shop in town where he he, he does upholstery cleaning. Such oh. Like. What does he sell there? I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if he sells any furniture or not. But I do know that he's, he does upholstery cleaning for people who have the dirty chairs and things. Yeah, I think Tansy uh, took some furniture in there to get it cleaned. Uh, no. It took me a long time to get the perfect stains on my furniture. But maybe I'll... I will have a little gander. Maybe he has got something of value that I would like on my ship. I want something weird, yeah, a souvenir from this wonderful place. All right, sure. Um, what else do you have around here? Do you have some sort of markets? Maybe a gift shop, perhaps? What do we have? I was kind of low on things that we're selling. We don't, don't really have a gift shop. I know that Mr. Owen sells seafood, but Mr. Owen's not in at the moment. Oh. Huh. Um. Oh, yeah. Speaking of seafood, I happen to come across quite a lot of it. Caviar. And uh, something else. And I don't know how to cook it. It tastes bloody awful. That's you don't know how to cook it anymore, that's that, do you? Fishberry jam. That's fishberry jam that you're eating. It doesn't taste very good. It tastes like the bottom of the ocean has been scraped on your tongue. Uh, do you add a little heart attack uh, to it and put some of that fishberry jam on it? Mm -hmm. I don't know myself. I'm not a cook. Bobby does some, does some cooking and things, as well as Tansy, but Tansy's asleep. Ah, what about um, these sort of ingredients, like some quality fish steaks? Or uh, some caviar, or maybe some shrimps. Would that interest you? Um, uh, Tansy's the cook. I don't know what I would do with them. Ah, well, never mind then. Do you have any markets on this island? I have some friends, you see, and I'd like to buy them a present while I'm here. Sure. Uh, sorry, not friends, not friends. Uh, just uh, some scumbags that I know. I don't have any friends. No, I know. As much as I hate everybody, I hate them the least. Oh, all right. Well, that's that's a pretty good sign then. Thank 
things are all right. Let's see what we have available. Yeah, I'm not sure. What about his head? Oh, that is a nice hat, yes. We're up for that. I'm also grabbing one more thing. Alright. Uh, that's the hat. Do not let share, is it? Oh, I'll anchor her before I go. Hello. Okay. Uh, Edgar wouldn't know about the timeshare. We had a man come in. And in the town said he got a free hat with a timeshare purchase. Oh, uh, but uh, no, we, we can give him that hat. <laughs> okay, right. I've also got some animal crates that you can put on your ship. I noticed he had a horse on there, but no crate for the horse. I don't oh, want to. Yeah. Don't want the sh don't want the shimmer figure to grab the horse off the ship while he's traveling. Not sure where I went. Oh, he's right over here. Oh, there you are. Yes, we did have some objects here that you might be interested in. Oh, yeah, wonderful. What's this? A uh, souvenir oh. head. Yeah. And those are crates for animals on your ship. I noticed you had a horse on your ship, but it wasn't in any sort of crate or anything. And that will, that will keep the Shimmer figure from trying to snatch your animals from you while you're crossing Shimmers. Hold on a minute, you know about that. What do you know? What do I know about what? Oh, well, we know too about much about the Shimmer. Shimmer figure. I've heard people talk about Shimmers, though I've never seen a Shimmer. Um, I know I have four horses today, and oh. one of them disappeared whilst I was at sea. Just disappeared. Mm. Did it disappear while? While you were going from grid to grid, by chance? Yeah, um, I think it was. Yeah, looking on the map, I was just about to go through from my C1 to C3, or C2, or whatever. I'm not sure. It sounds like you were crossing a shimmer to me. It's when you cross from one grid to a new grid and you're traveling, sometimes you go through what they call a shimmer. Sort of a blue light that surrounds you as you're traveling. And, and it can, on the other side, there's a figure that can wait for humans and it can try to take you. Or it can try to take a shoulder pet or an animal on your ship. It, it's not very picky about what it takes from you. Wait a minute now. There's more to this. Uh, yeah. Now, about a week ago, I've never told anybody this because I would thought I'd get laughed at, but now, oh, yeah, all right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. So, sailing along, right, minding my own business, I was um, just going from one quadrant to the next, and the next minute, 
I wasn't on my ship anymore. I was on someone else's. We've heard of things like this. We also heard of people crossing through a shimmer. And now there's a whole nother ship of theirs and a whole nother crew. And when they look at the crew, they look exactly like themselves. Only they're sleeping because they're from a different time. Wow. Have you ever mm. seen yourself but you're sleeping? You know, you have a very strange dialect. I've never heard of the word another before. Very unusual. Where did you get that from? Another? Another, yeah. Or a whole another. Not a whole other or another. A whole another. I've never heard of that. Weird. A whole another crew, yes. So, yeah, I appeared on someone else's ship. And worse than that, my ship, even though there was no one on it, was sailing full speed ahead the sails still down and i had to persuade this new crew uh who had never seen me before just appear on the ship uh, to persuade them to chase my ship down what in the world was there anyone at the helm of your ship when you got there was no there no no one in fact no. i was manning the sails and the steering wheel my own self yeah and then all of a sudden i'm on someone else's ship and my ship was going, but no one on it, full speed ahead. I get to chase it. Yeah, that's, that's another layer to this whole shimmer figure. We think that they've been stealing the youth from certain people, and they give it to other people when they're around. I'm going to document that and put it in the museum. Yes, document that. An unusual crossing where you appear on another ship, and then your ship has no one at the helm but is full sails sailing through the grid. Yeah, and then there's the witch. There's a witch asleep um, down below deck on my ship. Witches. What? Wait. Wait, are they floating? They float near the ceiling. We've heard of this. She's, um, she keeps one minute I go down there and she's got orange hair. And then I go down there and she's got grey hair. Ugh. And then it goes back to orange again. Does this happen when you cross the grids from one to another? You may be I going... I don't know. You may I'll be say, going... I, don't, I don't go down there, it's creepy. Uh -huh. You may be going near the shimmer figure. And when you go near the shimmer figure, it, it can steal the youth. Maybe it's taking the youth from her. And you see the grey hair, and then you cross another shimmer, and it gives her youth again. And now she has the other colour hair. It's hard to see. How did she start out? Do you know? Do you know the person? Starting um, the starting... I met her at the Freeport, and um, she's been sleeping ever since on my ship. Never woke up. Never no. woke up. Never Ugh. eaten, never been to the toilet, nothing. Enough. That's very unusual. We, we saw something unusual on board a ship ourselves. We went to a ship, and there was a body asleep on the ship, but floating near the ceiling. And the person that showed us all this took uh, ground garlic and rubbed it on the bottom of the shoes in case the person was some sort of vampire or something. I'm not sure what empire is, but it's some sort of creature. If you put garlic on their shoes, they get angry about it. I don't think a regular person is supposed to get angry about it, but a vampire is supposed to get angry about garlic on their shoes. Ah, uh, right. Maybe they're, maybe they're um, I've heard something like that before. What's them people called? Uh, vegans. Yeah, it, maybe it's some form of that. Could be, I don't know. You think they're afraid of garlic? Yeah, well, they don't like it when you eat fish or whatever. Fish? Oh, I see. I don't know. It's hard to say about that. Yeah, but them vegans, they're very, very weird. See, they don't like animals, but they want to get vegetables and shape them like dead animals and then eat it. 
Mm, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, a lot of people trying to take carrots and shave them down to look like bullets and then put them out of a gun. But I've not heard of anyone trying to shape a carrot to look like some sort of animal. Uh, so, so oh, yeah, you yeah, take yeah. bacon and, and, and you make something called bacon? <clears throat> bacon. Good idea, that. You should market that idea. For them psychopaths. Maybe he'll buy that at a free ball. Anyway. Uh, we've heard oh, a great many things on the oceans, but... Yes, we'll, we'll keep your story in mind about crossing that shimmer and seeing your own ship without you on it. Hmm, yeah. So how much do you want for the hat and the crates? Well, the crates are a gift for you explaining all this information to us and showing us your oddities so that we can see them as well. Thank you very much. It, it helps inform us more when we're out on the seas. I'd like to know these sorts of things. Alright, alright. Um, I'll be bringing my acquaintances down sometime to have a look at your museum. What would be the best time to catch you? Yeah, we have a little uh, poster here, just to write on the, the notice board for the Town 5 torches. If you want to reach behind there and pull down one of them, you can take it with you. It has the times and the location and everything. Oh, and then, yeah, wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, um, our tours take about an hour and a half. We've been telling people that now, because some people don't realize it takes a while to see a lot of stuff. Hour and a half. Is that all? Well, yeah. that's brilliant and that's perfect. Um, yeah, I'll show you. I'm going to put some more friends, uh, I mean, more acquaintances. acquaintances. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, the people that you like the least, yes. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You've got it in. And then we'll be back, yeah. Um, uh, farewell, and try and not let the clockworks eat you while you're sleeping. Oh, they're not going to eat us. This sounds... They've seen us, do you? Where are the shimmers? Is there anything you need us at all, Mr. C? Have, have you met Edgar, who was resident in the towns? Hey, what's up, Edwin? Hello, I can meet you. Yeah, that's true. Uh, no, I don't need nothing. Uh, I came to see if uh, Owen was here. Uh, we brought him uh, his schooner um, that we built for him. Well, we didn't build it. Uh, Jessica built it anyway. And I figured while I was here, I would open a, the shop up and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to go get a tiger, and then I'm going to a funeral. You're getting a tiger? Well, hopefully so. Um, it might be a monkey, which is going to be kind of a letdown, but I I'm, I'm a shooting for a tiger. Uh -huh. That's a tiger. I wouldn't take it to the funeral. That could be a bad... Uh, no, no. Well, that's a good point. Um, but uh, I'm going to use a Derek ship, so I might put it inside and stuff. Did you need one of those little animal crates you put the animals inside of? So the shimmer figure uh, doesn't 